I grew up in Switzerland. We have many artists in, in my family that they, they all um, study in France and I'm the only one who studied in, in Australia. But I must say from an early age, I was also influenced with my father. Like it was this model about technology, philosophy uh, and art. My research and the research of our lab, it's situated in the field of social robotics. Um, our focus is to um, better understand human and robot interaction uh, in order to design um, systems that not replace humans but enhance and complement the experience that they have with a technological device. We're not interested in robots that they replace human beings. We're not interested in robots that they create analogous relationship of interaction, human to human interaction. We believe in robots that they can assist in, in improving something. For example, autistic children learning and playing. Having something like the Casper robot, that it's almost like a doll, that the face was chosen by the children, right? Not by designers that it's about education with playing. It doesn't replace the therapies, it doesn't replace the love and the care of the, of the parents. It's just another toy it's, that you can learn through. And I think this is a good use of a robot. I don't see a robot as, as uh, the care that you cannot afford or the family you don't have, but I see it as a system that could maybe prevent accidents, could create triggers, could create uh, intellectual triggers. Uh, and interact with you uh, within your own environment for, for, for longer periods. The world will continue produce, to produce more and more and more, but, but if we could contribute to make them interesting and may I dare say meaningful, enhancing um, and, and thought-provoking, because that's important too.